Hello friends, welcome back to another YQR plugin tutorial in AutoCAD. I'm architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I'm going to teach you about seven most powerful shortcut command in YQR, which you can use in your AutoCAD drawing and make it 10x faster. So let's begin. The number one is super trim. So if you can see this, uh, drawing here and if you want to trim it in AutoCAD you have to repeat the process but in YQR plugin if you'll type TX on your keyboard and if you'll enter and you can select all the drawing here and from left to right and you can see all the corners are automatically trimmed which you can save your time like in Revit so this is the most important uh, you can trim your drawing and the next is dynamic copy so for copying the object so first i am going to copy any object suppose i am going to copy this uh, wc here and i will bring it here to make you understand so i am going to type shortcut command for this cv and i'm going to enter and now i'm going to select the object so i am going to select the object and i'm going to enter and now it is asking base point so this is my base point and now it is asking direction point so i'm going to move this till here this is my direction point and i'm going to click once and you can see this is the one count and you can move your mouse in this directions and you can see whatever count if you want to make you can make so i'm going to click once here so this is the 10 count and likewise you can again repeat this process i'm going to select this and i'm going to make a cv again i'm going to first select my base point and this is my direction point and you can repeat this in this direction also so this is very 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 uh, powerful plugin uh, yqr and by using this dynamic copy can save your time in your autocad drawing and next is automatic dimensioning so for that uh, you can use your shortcut command ddss and after this you can use use dimensions here so uh, i'm going to click ok and from left to right i'm going to select this whole drawing here and i'm going to enter and you can see this is automatically dimensions and you can see this all are in centimeters so if you want to change this you can change your unit so you can go to yqr here and you can go to system setup and you can go to your set default units so default units is in inch so sorry this is in inch and if you want to use mm you can use mm so likewise you can uh, do automatic dimensioning in this drawing also so i'm going to type ddss and i'm going to use or uh, this use dimensions and i'm going to click ok and from left to right you can press enter and you can see these all are automatically dimensioned here so this will save you a lot of time in your autocad drawing so next is auto level so i'm going to uh, level this suppose this is a section of any building or elevations and if you want to level this so you are required to press busy on your keyboard and now you can see here i'm going to click here to zero if it's not zero press o and i'm going to click here and you can uh, bring it to any directions by moving your course cursor here so i'm going to click once and now i'm going to again click here and again i'm going to move click here and then click here and click here enter and you can see these all are automatically leveled so this also will save your time like revit in this autocad by using yqr plugin and the next most important uh, plug uh, shortcut command is drawing wall so 
for that i am going to enter shortcut command ww and you can see uh, you can see here the wall layer if you want to change the wall layer you can select here and you can change the wall layer whatever layer if you want to make and you can also change the thickness from here so i am using uh, inches here so you can change this thickness so and change whatever thickness if you want to make and you can align center align left or align right wall and you can simply start drawing wall like rabbit you can see here you can draw walls here very quickly so this is very very powerful plugin and you can So likewise you can draw wall and can also again draw interior walls if you want you can change the thickness so i am going to delete this and you can stretch this here and you can trim this off So likewise you can draw wall in AutoCAD like in Revit by using shortcode command WW and you can save your time and next command is automatic door placement. So I am going to first draw some walls here again. This is to just to make you understand and so now I am going to press the shortcut command ad here and this is for automatic door and now it is asking style here pick a wall to open or a style so i'm going to pick the style of the door so i will select this simple door here and now it is asking holes and pyre width so you can change the door width here so this is in uh, inches so this is 35 point if you want to use more uh, width here you can select from this list and now uh, I am going to place door here so I am going to select this wall here and you can place the door and you can move your mouse like in Revit so in this direction of the door frame will change so likewise you can move your mouse and place the door so I am going to place door here so we will go in detail in upcoming tutorials how to uh, work perfectly and you can see this is the very very important door and uh, you can again select the style here you can select the double door and you can select the uh, width here so i'm going to place some 70 here and you can place doors and place double doors and change the directions and next shortcut command is automatic window so i am going to press a w here for shortcut command and you can same like door you can change uh, select the style here so i am going to select the simple style and you can also select the window width here so you can select i am going to select 5 feet almost so i am going to click ok and now i am going to select my wall here and you can see this is the our window you can move if you want this window and you can again press a w here and you can select the style here and i'm going to again select the styles and i'm going to change the width here so i will select this 70 here and now i'm going to select this wall here and you can place this window here So this is just to make you understand how to place the window and we'll make a detailed tutorial onto this so likewise you can use automatic window so this is all the seven commands which you can use in your autocad to make your drawing very fast so this was the tutorial so thanks for watching bye bye